So let's look at um, patient confidentiality and privacy in the context of, uh, of healthcare. And um, by the end of this session, we should be able to uh, explain the importance of patient confidentiality and privacy in healthcare. Uh, should be able to know the legal and ethical implications regarding patient confidentiality. And uh, we should be able to understand the strategies for maintaining uh, patient confidentiality and privacy. <clears throat> so patient confidentiality refers to the obligation or duty that you have as a health professional to protect patient information from access that is not authorized. Uh, and then uh, patient privacy uh, refers to the right of the individuals to control uh, the collection, the use and disclosure of their personal health information. Um, patient confidentiality and privacy is very important because uh, if it is ensured, um, patient will have uh, open communication between you and them because uh, they trust that you will keep their health information uh, confidentially and that no one will have access to it and use it for different purposes. Um, so they will not uh, be fearful uh, in, in revealing information uh, to you and that this information is often very sensitive and uh, if you safeguard it well then you uh, uh, you are in position uh, to prevent any harm that uh, uh, can be directed towards the patient um, Maintaining confidentiality and privacy are very key because uh, they can result in two legal suits. Okay? A, a hospital or a given health worker or professional can be taken to court uh, if they are very negligent in handling patient information. So different countries have different legal requirements for issues of data protection and privacy. Uh, and that you have to obey them. The emphasis usually is on you upholding the right uh, of autonomy for the client or the patient. The patient has the right to make decisions on matters that affect their well-being and health and that you should actually respect their right uh, for confidentiality uh, therefore one of the legal issues associated legal and ethical issue that that is associated with uh, confidentiality uh, is the issue of protecting the public against uh, harm. So usually when you have a situation where if you don't reveal uh, health information about a client, the general public may be put at a risk. So your duty is protect the, uh, the public. Okay. And therefore, uh, if you revealing the health information about a particular population, about a particular patient, will protect the population, then you can actually do that. So this is actually seen 
in cases where, for example, if a patient is suspected of a, a very contagious or fat, contagious and fatal condition, such as a, a Ebola, for example, or COVID-19, or Marburg, okay? Um, it's very important that some information is actually released about the health of a particular patient who has one of these diseases. So that people are aware about the presence of a particular contagious disease and they can take the required precautions. So what can you do uh, when dealing with issues of confidentiality and privacy? If you're going to collect information from patients, it's important that you actually explain to them um, what information you're going to collect from them and for what purpose and who you're going to share that information with such that they can give you informed consent. Okay, they should also understand that it is their right. They should understand their rights in regards to this information that is being collected from them. But if they give you that access, then it is actually upon you to make sure that this information is kept sexually. If it is in electronic form, electronic data, then there, there should be um, cyber security mechanisms that you put in place, such as using uh, passwords. If you if you are going to share this information, the, the email system should be encrypted, and such that there is no unauthorized access to this electronic information. Uh, even if it is also uh, Hard, uh, hard copy information or information, health information that is on paper, then it is also very important that you actually protect uh, this information so that it is not accessed by any, any person, especially individuals who are not in direct uh, care or are not directly caring for the patient. So you need to make sure that there's a restricted access, uh, whether it is to the files, whether it is um, uh, the, the files being kept in a cupboard, uh, whatever it is. So if it is a computer, it should be in a computer that has a restricted access. If the information has been used and its purpose, uh, there is. Uh, you need to dispose it of, okay? You no longer have the need to, to keep that health information. Then you may need to dispose that information uh, properly. This can either be by deleting the information, uh, if it is electronic data, or you make sure that the information does not actually have information that... Uh, uh, that can identify the clients, okay? So this is what we call anonymizing. You anonymize the electronic, uh, the electronic records. Uh, the staff within the health facility should be able to understand the implications of uh, having a bleach in confidentiality and privacy. So you need to train them uh, um, on maintaining patient confidentiality and privacy. Uh, it's also a good practice uh, to institute measures to check the systems that you have in place. Uh, so you conduct what you call routine audits to monitor uh, the compliance of the institution in regards to data protection. Uh, you might um, identify uh, breaches, or you might identify areas where there are potential breaches that can happen, potential vulnerabilities, okay? So you always have to keep, keep checking this as a healthcare profession. So uh, generally, uh, patient privacy, and confidentiality are very important in healthcare practice. 
if the healthcare organization does not have clear policies and procedures in how to protect uh, health information, then they can be sued and, and may suffer legal charges and legal fees. So it is upon uh, healthcare managers uh, to institute measures that ensure that patient information is kept confidential. Confidential. Thank you.